Okay, in this question we're asked to um, solve the following equation for theta between 0 and 360, giving your answers to one decimal place. I look at this straight away and the first thing I think to myself is it's got double angles in it, so bear that in mind. I also think to myself it's got tan squared and, set and a sec 2 theta, so I need to convert everything either into a sec squared or tan in order to solve this because I can't have two different trigonometric identities. Um, functions going on in the same thing. There are a list of, of identities I've learned. Here they are. Now, how can I convert a tan squared into a sec squared or a sec into a tan? Well, I should know that 1 plus tan squared single theta is equal to sec squared theta. So I can use this identity here to convert everything into sec squareds. So, what I'm going to use to state the identity, I know the identity I'm going to use is 1 plus tan squared single th uh, theta is the same thing as sec squared single theta. So in our case, we're dealing with two thetas. 1 plus tan squared 2 theta would be sec squared 2 theta. And making tan squared theta the subject of the formula, tan squared theta, I can therefore replace it with sec squared 2 theta take away 1, subtracting 1 off both sides. So I'm going to substitute that in here. Everything will be in terms of sec then, and I can solve it. It'll be a quadratic I can solve. So let's do that. So we'd have 5, and instead of tan squared 2 theta, I'm going to write sec squared 2 theta, take away 1, subtract 13 sec 2 theta is equal to 1. So that will be 5 sec squared 2 theta, subtract 5, subtract 13 sec 2 theta, and I'm actually going to take the 1 off here, take 1 is equal to 0. Combining everything neatly, 5 sec squared 2 theta, subtract 13 sec 2 theta, um, negative 5 combined with another negative 1 is going to be negative 6, and that's going to be equal to 0. Now, with a bit of luck I can factorise this. In this bracket we're going to need a 5 sec of 2 theta. And in this bracket, we're going to need a set of 2 theta. And what I want to do is I want to multiply to a negative 6 and add up to somehow negative 13. So it's going to be a, a negative 3 and a 2. So I think negative 3 going there and a plus 2 going there will do it for me because I would therefore get my negative 6. I get my 5 sec squared. I also get negative 15 sec plus 2 sec, which would be negative 13. So we're done there. So my two possible answers from this, therefore, are that sec 2 theta is equal to 3, or from this, that sec 2 theta would be negative 2 fifths. So um, that's 1 over cosine of 2 theta. So cosine of 2 theta would be the, in, the flip of this, the reciprocal, which is negative 5 over 2, or negative 2.5. And this here, cosine of 2 theta, would, th would be 1 over this, which is a third. Now I'm not going to get any answers from this because cosine is always between 1 and negative 1. So I'm going to ignore this and say that there are no solutions. Okay, but I get all my solutions from here. So 2 theta is going to be the inverse cos of a third. So calculator out, make sure it's in degrees mode, an inverse cos of 1 third, and I get my principal value to be 70.5 degrees. So 2 theta is going to equal 70.5 degrees. Now that's only my principal value. Let's draw the cos graph to get all the other possible values. Now I know I'm going between 0 and 360, but because I've got 2 theta, I'm going to double that uh, domain here. So it's going to look something like this. That's 0 to 360, and this would be up to 720. So here are my points here. That's 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, uh, 540, 630, and lastly 720. Okay, so I know I've got an answer at 70.5, which is here somewhere, 70.5 there, which is 70.5 from that peak at zero. So there are going to be other answers along, and the other answers are going to be here, here, 
and here, which is 70.5 back from this at 360 and 70.5 forward from that at 360 and also 70.5 back from 720. So my other answers are 360 subtract 70.5, uh, 360 add 70.5 and 720 subtract 70.5. They're all my two theta values, so my theta values are as follows. So, uh, 70.5 divided by 2, which is 35.3 to one decimal place. So 35.3 degrees is my first answer. The next one, I do 360, subtract 70.5, 70 and then I divide it by 2, and my answer is 144.8, uh, so 144.8 degrees. Next, I do uh, 360 add 70.5 and I divide it by 2 and I get 215.3 degrees, so 215.3 degrees. And lastly, I do 720 subtract the 70.5 and then I divide it by 2 and I get myself 324.8 degrees, so 324.8 degrees. And they are all my solutions to one decimal place.